in this video, we are going to look at the specific derivative rules. The first specific derivative rule looks at the specific function f of x is equal to some constant. For example, the constant might be 3. Let's look at the graph of that as an example. Suppose f of x is equal to 3. That means that when we graph that, if we were choosing x and y values, if x is 0, you plug in a 0 everywhere there's an x, you get a 3 for the y value. Plug in a 1, you get a 3. A 2, you get a 3. A minus 1, you get a 3. A minus 2, you get a 3. Graphing those, let's begin to look and see what we get. 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, minus 1, 3, minus 2, 3, and so on. No matter what x you pick, the y value is going to be 3, and the graph begins to look like this. It's a straight line. Now remember, the derivative tells the slope of the curve at any point. No matter what point we pick, say we pick the point negative 4, then we get a 3 out as the y value, and the slope of that curve is 0. No matter where we pick, the derivative of a constant function is 0. That's our first specific rule. The derivative of a constant is 0. There are five specific rules, six specific rules that we're going to look at. There's the first. The second one examines the function f of x is equal to x. Now again, look at what that graph looks like. The graph of f of x is equal to x looks like this line. If x is 0, y is 0. If x is 1, y is 1. If x is 2, y is 2. If x is 3, y is 3. And so on. Notice again that no matter which x we pick, no matter what x we pick, you look at the point on the curve there, and the slope of the curve at that point is going to be, that's right, 1. Rule number 2, the derivative of the function x is equal to 1. Okay, four more rules to go. The next rule is one that you need to take on faith for right now. Remember, the derivative tells you the slope of the curve at any point. But the next rule says that the derivative of x raised to any number is equal to n x to the n minus 1. For example, if f of x is equal to x squared, then f prime of x is equal to 2x. Or in other words, the derivative of x squared is 2x. Now you know what this graph looks like. f of x is equal to x squared. It looks uh, roughly like this. Close to 0, 1, when we're at 2, we're up at 3, 4. When we're up at 3, we're up at 9. It's a parabola looking like this. Okay? If we picked a point, like one and a half, this is telling us that the slope of the curve at that particular point is going to be three. Because when x is one and a half, the derivative is two times that x value, which is going to be three. The slope of the curve there would be three. But if you pick a different value, for example, you pick six, the slope of the curve there will be 12. Okay. And this will work for any n. So now we know a whole bunch of derivatives. We're trying to find the derivative of x to the 1 half as an example. That would end up being 1 half x to the minus 1 half. And there are a number of other practice exercises for you associated with this uh, video. OK, three more rules. The next rule is the derivative uh, the natural log of x is equal to 1 over x. 
you might remember that the graph of the natural log of x looks like this. As a vertical asymptote getting close to the, to the y-axis and then it goes up like this. What this is telling us is that the slope of this curve when x is 1 is going to be, that slope is going to be 1. When x is 2, that slope is going to be 1 half. Rise is 1 for each 2 that it goes over, and so on. Okay, we'll give more reasons for why that's the slope later on, but uh, it does the job. The fifth rule, the derivative of e to the x just happens to be e to the x. Your job will be to memorize these six rules. They're not going to be hard. These two rules are very obvious because you know what the graphs are. This one gets a little bit more complicated, kind of an interesting one. And these two will be easier to memorize. And finally, the sixth one is the derivative of the sine of x happens to be the cosine of x. Remember, the derivative tells the slope of the curve at the point. We'll use that over and over.